Our first guest today entered the Guinness Book of Records as the youngest Brit ever to climb Mount Everest. He was just 23 years old and he was awarded the title of the youngest ever Chief Scout at the age of 35. Yes, parachuting from helicopters, crossing fast-flowing rapids, eating snakes, running through raging forest fires and wrestling alligators. It's just a walk in the park for him and sometimes he has to do the unthinkable to survive. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's hope he hasn't brought his little friend with him. It's Bear Grylls. Did you eat him? Did you eat him? I did, yeah. yeah. And the, um, oh, well, it was breakfast and we were in the jungle and hungry. And, but it's uh, true, you've got to wash out for those urticating hurt, hairs that hurt. Oh, so. there's got to be an easier way to make a living. <laughs> did you? Why do you do I it? I don't know, I love it. You know, ever since I was a young kid and started to climb my dad, I've always just loved this sort of thing. And I think if somebody said to me, age seven, that I could have a job that involved getting muddy and climbing trees and falling out of them. I would have thought. Did heaven, you just have you know, a, like so. a pocket full of worms and pull the wings off flies? And, and all I that still kind do. You know, I mean, I, I've got three young boys now, and I get back from filming, and actually, all I want to do is get back and sort of have a cup of tea and sit down. And they're going, "Papa, come and check these worms out of these ants <laughs> behind this tree." And, and eat something oh, from no. the fridge yeah. rather from, than from a tree. <laughs> what, what's the worst thing you've eaten? Because you've eaten some really, really revolting things. I can't. Do you remember that egg? You open, I don't think you ate, you ate the egg, oh, did they you? They all blur was... into a bad memory. Oh, you, know? you said it stunk, but I think you still <laughs> ate it. And... Uh, the worst is probably, I mean, elephant dung, the fluid from elephant dung is bad. Oh, and yeah. Why would you eat elephant dung, though? Tell me why would you jack eyeballs. Why and... would you eat elephant dung, though? Has it got some well, 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 they have very, they have very fast digestion. If you've right. got no other place to get fluids from, uh, the fluid is almost... Uh, sterile, so you can squeeze and get the juice out of it. It's going to taste horrible. I said, I remember a big lump of it fell off, Whoa. and then went. <laughs> <laughs> Better <laughs> than dying. <laughs> have you have you ever been badly bitten by these creatures that you pick up like? Uh... Um, sometimes I was bitten by a nasty snake last year in the Borneo jungle. I, I was up this tree and making the camp for the night, and I saw this tree, this uh, viper shoot along <gasps> this branch. Grabbed it by the back end. I was pulling it and wrapped his head around a branch, and eventually it pinged back and bit me, and, and I pulled it off, and it was so mad, it was biting itself, and... Anyway, I had it for dinner, so it was fine. <laughs> but, <laughs> but actually, the, the lesson of that one is never grab a snake by its anus. Because that's what I was... That's what I was really mad. That's what I really upset. How would you know I should take that wrong. with me? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know how anyway, to find ladies, it. Anyway, ladies, I'm giving you... <laughs> I'm giving you some change. great advice that can save your yes. life. Well, yes. this yes. is... You, you've got your mud, things. sweat and tears tour. So if you want to know more things like this, people can come along and, and you share all of these experiences. Is the idea that we do come away with something that if we were kind of stuck somewhere... On the M25. On the M25. <laughs> Listen, you and never know. To... And no. all the great survival yes. stories I've heard, everyone said, I never thought it would happen to me. And, you know, one of the fun things we do in the show, and we're doing the last three uh, shows this week of, our, of the live shows, and uh, is actually kind of do a lot of these survival, you know, kind of techniques live on stage. I get people up, show them how to light fire and eat maggots and handle <laughs> the snakes and all of this. So, um, so it's always fun. But actually, yeah, we light fires, I'm intrigued, but it's about I'm empowering intrigued people with the little bits and bobs that you've brought along? Are these things that you use to show people... Well, the thing is, survival is all about ingenuity and resourcefulness. I you thought know, that was and Lisa's um... breakfast, though. So yeah. did I, yeah. 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 The thing is, it, it's easy to survive if you've got all the gear. What's fun for me is when all you've got is a shoelace and you've got to kind of think left field about how to do stuff. So this is things that ladies might have on them if they ever get yes, caught in a difficult right. situation. Right. So we have... have what you've got there. Uh, we have a makeup mirror. Oh, gosh, can you help? I don't know how to open these. You don't carry one of those. Oh, I don't either. either. I'm rubbish <laughs> with these things. So there that's it. OK, here we so go. Yeah. So Make you sure could you use this... <laughs> to start a use... fire? You could you start a fire. Oh. You could actually use it to signal. Yes. So, oh, so I don't know, where are we looking at? Here we go, there we go. Uh, it's kind of difficult to kind of... But if you've got the sunlight, you can signal to, a, to an aeroplane and people have been rescued yeah, up to 50 miles taxi. away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Credit card, that's even got a little hologram, hologram on it. You can signal with that. You can also use that as an improvised knife to cut things like, you know, your, your banana. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tampon. We know what to do with one well, of those. The thing is, it's a new can, one, Shane. This can totally worry. save your life. Totally and, uh, save yeah, your life? And, and pull all the fluff apart. Oh, can I see if I can guess? Yeah, go on. If you fill it full of water and drink from it. 
Well, you could do that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you'd be a great survivor. You're thinking you... left field. I like. But see, that will take a spark really easily. Ah, oh, get a bit of a bit of flint, bit of a spark into that. How do that you like the fire? What do you like the fire with sticks? Yeah, but yeah, with a couple of bits of rock, bit of flint. Yeah, but you're a, a chief, you're a chief boy scout. You can That's do something. Do you know what? Yeah, you can I, do I, just, it. I, I spend this you. weekend with all the scouts all all around the UK, whizzing around these camps and seeing young kids as young as seven or eight learning how to do mm. this with little bits of cotton wool. So oh. you do you can think definitely we've all do got, it. Do you think we've all got a survival instinct in us that we just don't know is there? Have people often surprised definitely, you? Take people definitely. Definitely. I've seen incredible heroics up mountains for the most unlikely of people, and I think what I love about survival is actually the real heart of it. Is about spirit you know and you can always teach skills and you can learn stuff from a book but this thing that matters beyond that is actually that will to keep going and, yeah. and you look at you know often you know these planes are crash and you know it's been one lady in high heels and you know a couple of butch guys and they're all gung-ho but actually the person who has endured has been the woman you know she said I've got to get back got to see my kids and drives her on and you you plumb the depths of what you think humans are capable mm -hmm. of doing and there's a magic to that because it's like it's, it's like the fire inside mm -hmm. and it's what I've always loved about mountains and the wild is that you have real relationships you, you, you it's raw it's not fluffy and all kind mm -hmm. of you know, it's real. Well, we're very glad that. that you've survived all your exploits. And to top that, you've survived the panel of loose women. So that just has <laughs> <around. laughs> oh, oh, you go. Lip, lipstick, I'm not sure oh. what you do with that. Maybe you can make yourself look nice for when you are resting. When you're yeah. resting, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. And remember, ladies, always have a tampon to start a fire. That's the <laughs> thing. Thank you very much, Claire. <laughs>